I used to think that needing one of these masks was directly related to bioterrorist attacks. I was wrong. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I got a care package from my friends at Mirror Safety. They sent me their other mask that they have. They have three, the 6M, 7M, and the 8M. This is the 8M. They previously sent me the 7M to review, and here is the 8M. So I've had it for a couple weeks. I took it out to the range to do a little shooting with, and we will get to that at the end. But I wanted to do a comparison video before I do a full review of this 8M and why you might need a gas mask. There have been two instances that I know of in the United States over the past two years where the air has been significantly contaminated. The first one was up in Pennsylvania in East Palestine. There was a train that derailed. It was back in February of 2023 and 20 of the cars released a bunch of chemicals into the air, including vinyl chloride, ethylene glycol, ethyl hexyl acrylate, butyl acrylate, and isobutylene. Those are a mouthful. I don't know exactly what each one of those are, but I know they're not very good. And then just a couple of weeks ago, maybe a month ago, there was a chemical plant uh, incident up in Georgia outside of the Marietta area, and a bunch of chlorine was catapulted into the air. I have a friend that lives up there. She was posting on her social media about the smoke plume and she was frantic trying to get out of there. She wound up uh, leaving the area and going to a place where the air was safe. But, you know, having one of these gas masks in your kit could have alleviated a lot of the uh, potential danger of the contaminated air. So we're going to take a look at the Mirror Safety CM8M and the Mirror Safety CM7M. We're going to start with some of the similarities between the two masks. There are some things that are the same. There are some things that are different, but uh, we'll start with the similarities. I'm going to put a chart up on the screen that is on the Mirror Safety website, and it shows that they are both made in the Czech Republic. They both have a shelf life of 20 years. They weigh about the same, I'm gonna call that the same 500 grams versus 540 grams. That's a difference of a little over an ounce. So we'll, we'll call that the same. They both accept these NBC 77 filters. It's a 40 millimeter screw on and they both have two ports so that you can wear it on the left side, on the right side, or both sides if you want. If you have somebody with breathing issues or you're protecting your kids, the reason why you just do one side is for weapon manipulation. And we'll, like I said, we'll get to that in just a little bit. They are both made of a bromobutyl rubber, which is non-irritating. I've worn them for quite a bit of time and my skin does not react with the rubber at all. It's pretty comfortable. Um, they both have a drinking system, which is on the front here. You can uh, insert this into a canteen and then you don't have to take your mask off to take a sip of water should you be wearing this for an extended period of time. They both have the same uh, exhalation resistance. They both exhales through this port on the bottom. You can feel it and hear it at the same time. So they have similar exhalation resistance. And that does it for the similarities. And the materials, the basic composition of the mask is the same. The difference is on the 7M, there are only five straps, one on the top and two on each side. And then on the 8M, you are gonna have two on the sides and then two on the top. But the downside with that is this one only comes in a size medium. It's more of a universal fit, whereas this one comes in a small, medium, and large. Now, the biggest difference is the vision, the field of view. So you can tell easily by this one that it's got two silica, silicate glass eye holes. And I have a border here in the middle and then I can only see out to about here. This is where I can see my fingers moving but if they're straight up and down I cannot see them. So 
right on the edge of the flag and right on oops right on Bill Murray over here the chive and then right on the edge of the flag so that's they say a 71.5 percent field of vision then here I can see much I can still see my fingers so I mean when you're talking about this to that it doesn't seem like a lot but it is a lot so the field of vision on this is 92.5 percent so it is much much larger 20 percent more so if you are running primary on your rescue efforts or whatnot and you really need to see what's going on this one is going to win hands down um, with the six straps it could be offset the fact that this one comes in different sizes because you can get a snugger fit in more areas they're both helmet compatible compatible so that if you are wearing a helmet with night vision or ear pro it definitely works no problem so we went over the material this is a silicate glass and then this is a polycarbonate and the thing that's nice about this one is if you are wearing this you can get something that goes over it's a visor that's like a peel off you know when you you know when you get like a new tv or a new phone or whatever and it's got that protecting film on there but you can get something like that to cover over the visor and then just peel it off should it get a bunch of stuff on there and then you have a clean field of vision again so in terms of seeing which is one of the primary reasons why you would get one of these masks if you really really need to see this is the better one and weapon manipulation because they have the 6m which is a full face shield but you cannot shoulder a rifle with that if you are in a significantly contaminated area with uh, aerosolized materials, specifically mustard gas, this one is gonna give you about 18 more hours of protection than that one. And I honestly don't know the reason why or how they came up with that, but the tested resistance against mustard gas is greater than 48 hours and 30 hours now i'm a civilian i really don't expect to encounter mustard gas but hey you never know now this is a firearms channel and when it comes to weapon manipulation you have you're going to have your rifle right and when you are normal normal conditions you've got some eye protection you've got some ear protections maybe a hat or something like that but you have no problem getting a good cheek weld and seeing your optic without issue. But what happens when you are wearing a mask? Oh, that was backwards. And it goes on easy, comes off easy. No issues getting it on and off. I could make it tighter, but for demonstration purposes, it's a little on the looser side. Now, now I have all this material over here and I, I have to probably camp my head a little bit more to get a good purchase on, or get a good sight picture through my optic. And this is where having a dedicated setup for a situation like this would be beneficial. You need an optic that is higher so that you don't have to cant your head. You can more keep it straight up and down. And if you are going to be running an optic in a, an SHTF situation, um, that 7M is going to be better than this 8M because of this visor, especially if you're using one rifle for everything. If you don't have a dedicated rifle or you don't have an optic riser, this one isn't the best one because this definitely hits the stock and I can't get as much of my eye behind an optic. If it was higher, 
my optic was higher, I would have a much easier time doing so. But a regular optic, you're gonna to wanna to go with this because there's less material on there, you're able to cant your head a little bit more. So, I wanna thank Mirror Safety for sending these masks. They are in my kits and I do have one filter that is I do have one filter that is sealed. They do have a very long shelf life as long as they're sealed. Um, but in terms of needing to see the most, you're gonna wanna go with this CM8M. If you are primary with weapon manipulation, you're probably gonna wanna go with this one unless you have an optic that is high, then this one will be the best of both worlds. Uh, this one will definitely take the, your night vision and recess it a little bit into these eye holes and you're gonna have less of a signature should somebody be looking for you. Uh, there won't be um, that gap with the light and the reflection of the light into your eyepieces because here it's going to stick out a little bit more here it's going to be recessed so there's a lot of different configurations that you would have to take a look at your own kit and see what you're going to be using and how you're going to be using it but i mean not for nothing this thing is so badass it is so cool looking that when you have this fully kitted out this one just looks amazing but in terms of functionality this one's pretty darn good as well if you need to see this is the one for you. So I wanna thank Mirror Safety for sending me these masks. Uh, this was a uh, quick-ish review comparison of the two. And I'm gonna get out there to the range, do some more shooting. I need to get a high optic mount and um, do some more shooting and see if the high optic mount really does negate um, this. So, hey, that's gonna do it for this one. Like and subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section below. We'll see you in the next video.